Middle school kids, sometimes people say, you have got to be kidding. But there is such an amazing wonder in the world and excitement for where they're going and confusion and to, to provide the opportunity for the kids to take risks at a time when they least want to take a risk and look different from anybody else. Um, it's really wonderful to watch the kids become comfortable and be able to take those things on. In my interview here, one of the stage four kids asked me, I can't remember anode from cathode. Um, can you let me know? I'm trying to do electrolysis of water. And I went, okay. And we, had, you know, we worked it out together, but it was that kind of constant challenge from the kids. And if they said, can we learn how to do rocketry? Okay, we, we developed a class called aeronautics and we did rockets and kites and paper airplanes and hot air balloons. So the, the thing that's important to me is I can make the, the program fit the passions of the kids and still teach the science. There, there is a sense of being very informal on the one um, hand here at school, the, the calling teachers by their first names, but what that does is put us on equal footing as individuals. We can have real relationships with each other. I can understand what one kid needs compared to what another kid might need and have it be equally fair but different. There's a level of trust um, between the adults and the kids um, that allows us to really best serve the kids and know on any given day if there's a kid who's having trouble with something. The staff here is an amazing group of people to work with. Um, very creative, have all kinds of ideas, amazing expertise, and a lot of support for each other. And then we have parents who are excited and care a great deal about learning for their kids, and they are amazingly supportive. So not only is it a supporting environment, but it's an environment where you never know day to day what's going to walk in the door and what you're going to do because something exciting is going to happen.